rugby league is football. But maybe not as you know it. Arguably the fastest, most aggressive, ball in hand football game that exists. We're underway. Rugby league is played on a rectangular field of 100 meters in length with an oval shaped ball that is slightly thicker through the middle. It's an 80 minute game, two 40 minute halves, 13 players on the field for each team, four players for each team on the bench, and all the players play both offense and defense. Every player is required to tackle, to pass, and in a given situation, maybe even to kick. No helmets, no pads, no timeouts, no blocking, no forward passes. Whoa! The objective of the game is to cross the opposition goal line to score a try, similar to a touchdown. Unlike a touchdown, it's not just about crossing over the line. You actually have to be able to control the ball and put it on the ground with downward pressure. Butcher in there to make the tackle. Took away to Walker. Mitchell! Luttrell! Mitchell scores! A try is worth four points. Unlike in NFL, the conversion is not just taken from in front of the posts. It is taken from a point perpendicular to where the ball was grounded. A conversion is worth two points. A penalty goal can be kicked in the same way. That is also worth two points. There is another way of scoring, which is a drop goal. You drop the ball on the ground first before you kick it. That, done in general play, is called a field goal, and it's worth one point. Beyond 40 meters from the end zone, that same drop goal is worth two points. Field goal attempt from oh, Cleary. Oh. He's done it! He's done it! Just like in NFL, there are periods of defined offense and defense. Because of the speed of the game, it's all about strategy on the fly. Instead of four downs, each team on offense has six tackles to attempt to score points. Though an integral part of NFL, the forward pass in rugby league is outlawed. Passes can be backwards or lateral. If an attacking player fumbles the ball forwards, it is called a knock-on, and that will stop the game and possession will change. One of the main objectives of Rugby League is to keep the action going. If a minor infringement takes place, a signal will be heard, the tackle play for a long, long time, and, there's the result. and the tackle count starts again. When you're on defense, you stop the opposition by tackling the player that's holding the ball. Tackling players or blocking players who are not holding the ball is illegal in this game. Definitely late. It is. It's set in the bed. Once a tackle player is on the ground or his progress has been halted, they must stand where they're tackled, roll the ball with their foot between their legs to a player behind them, and play continues. And that is known as a play the ball. If a player is tackled in possession of the ball after the fifth tackle, the ball will just go to the other team. And that is Brisbane ball. That's why, after the fifth tackle, a team will generally kick the ball for territory, just like in the NFL when you punt on the fourth down. Unlike the NFL, kicking in general play is integral to the game, and there are a number of different types of kicks. You have the grubber kick, You have the chip and chase. You have a punt for distance. You have a high punt called a bomb. Kicking is one of the most important strategies of the game and can be very hard to defend against. For the first time, 
NRL, National Rugby League, is being unleashed in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. March the 2nd at Allegiant Stadium. <laughs>